All right, absolutely perfect. And you are still right here with us on the hashtag Why in the Morning. Welcome back. If you're just tuning in, you can always interact with us on our socials and let us know where you're watching us from. We'll definitely would love to see and hear your feedback. My good name is Brian Sankwa and at Brian Sankwa 101 and find us at Y254 channel. This is the last conversation of the day and I'm just about to introduce our powerful guests who are live with us in the studio. We're going to delve into matters tech in a higher learning institution as technology continues to take over the world by storm with inventions like chat GPT, AI that enhances machine learning. My Chancos University is making use of matters tech. And with me live in studio is uh, Eric Komoya. He's a uh, is doctor and, and chair of department CIT at Machankos University as well. Alongside his counterpart, that is Professor Mgwendi Mtwarida. He's a DVC administration, planning, finance, tech, and innovation. Karibuni sana. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, you Sakwa. All right. So uh, let's get to know you a little bit. Just a short story. You know, sometimes it's good to know the people you're talking to. Yes, yes. So a short story of how your journey has been before we delve into matters, my channels and mm -hmm. tech. Let me start with you, Prof. Yes. Um, I'm an industrial designer by training. Right. Um, and industrial designers, uh, uh, industrial design is, is, is the design of any product that is mass produced in, in an industry. So yeah. it could be anything from a toothpick all the way to a car. Right. So industrial design is to products what an architect is to buildings. But that aside, uh, I also am the chairholder of the UNESCO Chair on Cloud Computing for Sustainable Development. Right. Uh, and we are in that uh, particular chair uh, as three uh, key members of that team. Uh, mm -hmm. with Dr. Omuya and also the Dean of the School of Engineering and Technology, mm -hmm. uh, who is uh, engineer Dr. Moniki. Yeah. yeah. So my daily job as a, a DVC or Deputy Vice Chancellor yes. is essentially to make sure that the institution runs well right. uh, and also to make sure that the finances of the institution, the resources mm -hmm. are adequately uh, maintained. Yes. And that is also to support the student program because ultimately the key customer for us as everything else is done and said, it's the student. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. And those are your clients. Yes, that is a correct. Business. That is our chief yes. client. <laughs> yeah. uh, Mr. Eric, uh -huh. a brief story about you. So thank, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Sakwa. Right. So my name is uh, Dr. Omuya, uh, Eric Odiambo. Uh, I'm the COD, Department of Computing and Information Technology mm -hmm. at Machakos University. Uh, the, the department is in the School of Engineering uh, and, and Technology. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a member of uh, the committee for UNESCO, where mm -hmm. professor is the chair. Mm -hmm. um, as the chair of the department, mm -hmm. I basically coordinate uh, students that do computing courses. Right. Yeah, because in the School of Engineering, we have uh, uh, engineering programs. Yes. And then we have computing, uh, of yes. course, with uh, also a number of programs. Mm -hmm. So I interact a lot with uh, the students coordinate uh, their classes, the, the, the team lecturers, trainers, uh, technicians that basically handle them. Yes. Um, my area of specialization is uh, AI machine learning. Right. Yeah, so I'm, uh, I'm trained in uh, uh, AI, AI expert. Yeah, and yeah. still now that you mentioned that, my first question to you would be, why is AI important in ensuring that you know, it enhances learning, especially for students? And let's, let's start from tertiary to the rest of them. Why is it important, especially at a season like this, and now specifically for Machakos University? Mm. Yeah, thank you, Sakwa. Uh, AI, uh, that is uh, one of the major uh, technologies. Actually, it is the technology that is blossoming right now, mm -hmm. uh, considering all the emerging technologies. So the applications, application areas are, are very many. We have a myriad of areas. Eh? Yeah, um, uh, right from manufacturing, uh, agriculture, healthcare, Etc. Um, in education, uh, AI is very important. Uh, we have uh, students who train in AI right from the, not even tertiary, but from the from high school. Um, uh, outside Kenya, we have students who who handle AI even as a, a very, uh, you know, a lower level. Yeah, we there are young people who are being trained on robotics. As young as they are, they are able to come up with stuff. Uh, they yes. can use Arduino kits and come up with uh, uh, at least a small project. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. At the tertiary level, tertiary uh, middle level colleges and university, uh, AI uh, can be used basically in 
the the study studies itself. Eh? Yes. Yeah. Where um, you, we, we can use because rather we have the learning management system, eh? uh, LMS that is being used. Uh, because of COVID, people shifted from the face-to-face -face learning to yes. e-learning. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the e-learning can be transformed through AI so that it is more collaborative. It is more engaging. Uh, we are able to do uh, monitoring, okay, of how the students basically go through their learning process. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, then currently we have, uh, still in AI, we have uh, technologies that uh, uh, have come up, like the facet of AI called generative AI, yes. where students have access uh, to this technology where they can generate uh, maybe uh, assignments, yeah. uh, whichever information they want. Yes. It is more powerful uh, than the, the search engines like Google. Yes. Yeah. That's helping especially now when it yes. comes to even now content because a search yeah. engine is very important now mm -hmm. for especially visibility yeah. for what you want. Let me shift to you, Prof. Uh, mm -hmm. Are there any, let's say, transition and maybe successes that you guys have managed to hack at uh, Machakos University in Matas Tech now that he's mentioned a couple of them? Indeed, uh, Sakwa, we, we have a very vib vibrant uh, innovation culture. Uh, in fact, we have a competition that is open every year to staff and students with an emphasis on the students. Uh, and that fund uh, allows students to develop proof of concept. So over the years, we've had uh, students developing applications for smart agriculture, uh, where the sensors are able to monitor um, you know, the, the moisture and water levels of plants at source. So yeah. it can be planted right where the seed, the plant is. Mm -hmm. uh, we recently had a student uh, team that looked at um, how blind people could be able to navigate the world and avoid blind spots. In fact, I think it's called blind spot then innovation. Mm -hmm. So we encourage our students to be socially conscious in whatever innovations they're coming up with. Yes. They need to have an impact on society, a positive impact. Yes. Uh, also, just to remember that um, we have both a TVET directorate and also the university. So we have anything from short courses like the ones Dr. Omuya was mentioning right. in uh, IT specifically. We have diploma courses yes. in the same areas and also degree courses. So from yes. b first degree, masters, also up to PhD. Yes. And uh, the innovation culture is actually part of our DNA. Our Vice Chancellor, Professor Joyce Agalo, is very keen on us tapping into our DNA because we started in 1957 as yes. a technical a rural technical training center under right. the colonial government and it evolved right. through uh, te uh, technical right. secondary school, uh -huh. uh, technical training institute, right. a university college of KU until finally Mm -hmm. uh, in uh, October of 2016, we became a full-fledged public now, university. university. So uh -huh. the university itself lives innovation. It's not just yes. teaching it. Yes. We ourselves it's are living example of how we have innovated mm -hmm. through those various changes yes. uh, and navigating the, the, the world around us. Yes. And that is something yeah. that we find we, we are very keen on encouraging our students right. and staff to also have a, an innovative uh, and creative out, uh, outlook. Yes. in the way they do things. Right. So how many faculties maybe do you have? Are there uh, institutions that are facilitating the success of this? Yes. Sako, we have uh, schools. Uh -huh. uh, we have six schools and uh, one graduate school. So uh -huh. it's like slightly a dotted line. So mm -hmm. the, we have a school of agriculture, environment, and health sciences. Mm -hmm. Then we also have a, a school of business, economics, hospitality, and tourism management. This is one with a long name. Yes. Uh, we also have a, a, a school of uh, engineering and technology, which is where a lot of this conversation sits, this one right. we are having this morning. Yeah, uh, from yes, 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 <laughs> yes. Right. Um, then we also have a school of humanities and social sciences, uh -huh. um, where we have design, which is my, my area. My, well. my, yeah, that mm -hmm. I have to give them a shout out. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have... Um, School of Pure and Applied Sciences. Uh -huh. uh, Dr. have I left anything out? <laughs> yeah. oh, oh, we also have, no, hospitality and tourism management is business. Yes. Yeah, I, I think uh, those yeah. are the six main uh, schools. schools yeah. Education. 
that's how yeah. I was. The most important you reminded yes. me. as well. You, you are young. <laughs> you should be the one reminding. I love it the way you're, you're, you're like, closer to the youth. I love it the way you have a wingman. It's like <laughs> yeah, yeah, my wingman. Closer. Why are you not giving me my notes? <laughs> exactly, banner? he's closer to the youth. But he's the one who's meant to help me. Yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's so fun. It's fine. I yes, love it. Yes, it's yes. Fine. And yeah. education. So yeah. those are the six schools. And I understand you've recently had a graduation. This is your eighth graduation. Yes, we had our eighth graduation on the 16th of May, just mm -hmm, about two recently. weeks ago. Uh -huh. uh, and um, tomorrow, as we speak, we have our sixth international conference. So it starts tomorrow until Friday. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. So you guys, you know, you know where you should be heading. Yes. So yes. All roads are heading to yes, uh, profs' yeah. direction. Yeah. So you know, you know the tagline <laughs> that uh, Machakos is the place to Okri. be. Yes. Now Machakos University is the institution to be. All right. You need yeah. to come to us so we can. Uh, Yes. Work together. You already know the drill. That's how we say it. <laughs> that, that <laughs> that, yeah, you can jump in. We, we are co-creating uh -huh. sustainable, sustainable futures. Sustainable futures. For future. yeah. Co-creating. Now, now, now there. <laughs> there <laughs> that is where Wingman we are now comes yeah, into yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, Mr. Eric, still on you. Uh, are there maybe partnerships that mm -hmm. you guys have managed to uh, get into that are now helping this? Especially now that... Uh, a lot of universities are into uh, tech innovations and competitions yeah. that are actually putting them on the map, mm -hmm. including my former university as well. And I love it when I see, you know, young people just come up with amazing and sometimes shocking inventions, but mm -hmm. they are solving a problem in society today, mm -hmm. not just for them, but even for the people back at home. Mm -hmm. So it's really amazing. Are there any that you guys have come up with and also the partnerships as well? Yeah. Don't forget to yeah. mention the e-voting. Eh? Yeah, yeah. Right. right. <laughs> okay, so I, I think right. I can start from uh, the aspect of innovations that right. have come out from Machaco University. Yes. Yeah, so uh, we have an a e-voting mm -hmm. system that was developed by one of our students. Yeah. Uh, this is for that the student. university now? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, from the, the university, the e-voting system actually, uh, yeah. Yeah, as Machakos University, we have been using it for voting. We don't do manual All voting our student around. elections, are, they use that. Yeah, yeah. It has yeah. never had e issues. System. Yeah, all elections. Yeah. So yeah. And, and the, the results are credible. Yes, it's totally transparent <laughs> and uh, there's a paper trail yeah. Yeah. Uh, so that the local Chabukati knows exactly what's going on in yeah. the system. Yeah. Mm. Nobody's entering the servers. <laughs> no, no, no. No one is entering the servers. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah so, so that's one of the, 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 the main innovations that we have had, the, the uh, I voting. Actually, w the student that came up with that, uh -huh. and part of his team, were uh, involved. They, they were um, absorbed by IBC. The so IBC. they were involved in the last mm -hmm. uh, Elections. general election, at least at the background, yes. just mm -hmm. on the tech issues. Mm -hmm. um, there are other innovations. You know, uh, for innovations, you look at what is the problem in the society that you want to solve. Eh? Yeah. So there is a student of ours who currently is actually working with KDF as a cadet officer. Right. He came up with an idea of uh, finding a way of handling the issue of uh, 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 the, the mental issues. Because uh, officers, KDF, and uh, uh, generally the officers uh, in the security area, Yes. Uh, some of them may be having issues, but trauma, uh, they don't know trauma. trauma yes. mm. And uh, there is no clear way of, of handling them. Yes. So this student came up with a, a mobile application uh, mm. that uses sentiment analysis in yes. AI mm. to analyze the interaction of mm. security officers. So yeah. that from the interaction you can know whether somebody is uh, stressed, At somebody risk. is distressed, somebody is in trauma or something. Mm. And then you find a way of assisting. So mm. there are two things. Uh, analyzing the status of somebody, the mental status or the health status, yes. and then finding a way of uh, of assisting that person before they reach, uh, um, you know, no, breaking uh, point. Uh, breaking points. Mm -hmm. So, the the application is able to connect uh, these students, uh, I mean the officers, with a counselor. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when we see some red flag at some point, at least uh, we can connect them to a counselor, and then that person is rescued. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, that is a uh, second innovation. The other innovation is uh, called Blind Eye, uh, which is mm -hmm. very recent uh, right. in Machakos University. This is for this year now. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. for this year. Invention, innovation, innovation. For this year. 2024 yes. Machakos. Yeah, uh -huh. yes. go ahead. Yeah, so, and, and I want to acknowledge the student. He, right. uh, he has a team. Mm -hmm. That student is called Makombui. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's the lead uh, innovator uh, for that group. Mm -hmm. uh, then, of course, he has a team that is working with him. Yes. Yeah, so the Blind Eye application is also an AI. Uh, uh, innovation, mm -hmm. which basically helps the, um, the the physically challenged, the blind or impaired, yeah, physically mm, visually impaired, visually impaired eh? mm -hmm. okay, to navigate around. Mm -hmm. So this application is able to uh, 
to, to basically uh, identify items around. So when you point, for example, at this, you can say this is a desk yes. or this is a book, and then uh, it, it gives the communicates, the communicates. The in real yeah. time. Right. In real time. Wow. So you can mm -hmm. basically uh, understand your environment and find a way of moving. Impressive. So mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. innovations are a lot. Right. Uh, maybe something else to mention. We normally have uh, competitions or hackathons that are organized. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, individual universities organize, uh, mm -hmm. like JQuat, they can organize right. one. Mm -hmm. which brings together many, many universities. Eh? universities mm. So oh. uh, to, to note is that this uh, bland eye application right. was actually presented in the Inter-University Hackathon for last year. Right. And it became the best overall AI innovation. Wow, amazing. Yeah, so we uh. beat all the universities mm. <laughs> wow. uh, that participated. So it put you on top. Yeah, it put us on top. Tech and innovation. Yes, yes. Mm. Even the Huawei, the we've gone global. Um, yeah. Um, so global partners. Yeah, so for global partners, we have... Uh, <coughs> Uh, partnerships with uh, various uh, uh, industry players. Mm -hmm. uh, Huawei is one of them. Mm -hmm. uh, through Huawei Technologies and other partners, there's right. a workshop that, of course, we have, uh, right. uh, which is the main workshop we, are, workshop we are using for training, mm -hmm. uh, AI and other technologies. We are calling it the Luban Workshop. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. Luban, Luban Workshop. workshop. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Luban. Is it an abbreviation for a whole word? No, it's a, it's a, a name which... Uh, of the person who founded that way of thinking, you know, the kind of apprenticeship model yes. uh -huh. uh, from China. So oh it goes right. back, it has a bit of history, mm -hmm. but uh, okay. Machakos University was the first to host such a lab in, uh, in East Africa. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, within Africa, the second one, I think Djibouti was number one, mm -hmm. we were number two mm -hmm. in, in the region, but Machakos is, is in the country were number one. Yes. And uh, we mentored another institution. Now there's a second one in the country. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so Huawei is uh, mm -hmm. just one of the partners uh, mm -hmm. that we have. Uh, then we have Konza Technopolis. Eh? Mm -hmm. uh, of course, a partnership. There's already an MOU that mm -hmm. we signed with them. Mm -hmm. Because they are, uh, in academia, the, tr the training we do is not in isolation. Yes. So we need to connect with the industry so that we see what happens out there. And then we find a way of uh, linking up. Uh, to have students or graduates who are able to, mm. who are competent when they go out there. Yes. So in Machakos University, within the workshop, we have a data center yeah. uh, internal. We actually use internal it to run some of center. the operations uh -huh. uh, for the university. Mm -hmm. At Konza, we have the main data center, Yes. Okay. Uh, we, which also, also runs uh, government. A lot of government services are being run from there. Right. So through that partnership, our students are able to go to Konza and basically see what happens. Yeah. Uh, in there. Yes. And there are many others. We have uh, uh, Apple is coming up. Mm -hmm. We are already engaging with them. Uh, we have AWS mm -hmm. already engaging with that. Kenneth, yes. uh, uh, which basically is a trust for various universities. We yes. are, uh, actually, we already have a partnership with Kenneth. Uh, we, as do. we are a member. <coughs> we do. We are a as member Machakos of University. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, there are opportunities that they have which we also tap into. Yes, yeah. perfect. Uh, you, you, you guys have a lot of uh, faculties, but now let's delve into the students on ground. So how do you uh, ingratiate students into this ecosystem of tech? Uh, I understand there's things like you know, uh, uh, web development, uh, coding is in there. We can talk about Python. Uh, mm. What is the other one? Laravel. Like mm. These are now the nitty gritties of tech mm. on ground. So how do you train students and nurture them to, to this point? They're now fully mature to start doing these inventions. And also, why is it important for a parent and any young person watching right now to just visit my charcoals to have a test mm -hmm. of this flavor that you guys are giving out here okay mm -hmm. yeah, before dr because i know that's his uh, passion mm -hmm. yes uh, machakos university has just under 12000 students so we are oh, growing quite 12, rapidly yeah? uh -huh. and um, within the engineering and technology program mm -hmm. uh, all these labs that we are speaking of the, right. it's part of their training that they go through those uh, those those labs to get the skills they need right. but also like the g Tume lab which was initiated through a relationship with konza and the national government uh, through the ministry of ict and digital economy mm -hmm. is not only open for our students but also to community members so even yeah. local so it's school, not student only no not only students so in fact the reason the government chose us yeah. was because we are uh, strategically located in a way right. that communities could come Benefit into the institution well. yeah. and even high school and, and, mm -hmm. and, and primary stu students. So yes. we have a STEM power lab. Okay. And STEM power, uh, STEM is the acronym for science, technology, engineering, and mathematics, mm -hmm. where we have 3D printing. Uh -huh. And 3D printing is very exciting. Uh, you can right. print something from 
nowhere and, and, and you know from a file, a, a, mm -hmm. a digital file. Yes. Uh, we have uh, Jitume, which is essentially training uh, people in terms of self to, to stand for themselves with the skills to navigate the digital economy. Yes. And then we have a Nigeria center with a partnership with MasterCard right. and uh, CDN Bank and other um, uh, supporters right. where we are giving students skills, including in the media space. So, Bona mm -hmm. you may come and help come train in. our students. Okay. So, that they, can <laughs> we'll create, they can create some content. <laughs> yes. Because, uh -huh. you know, Kenyan uh, youth are very connected. They are sharp. They yeah. are on... TikTok, so now we are training them how to also come up with content. Yes. And not just to be the consumers, but also right. the producers of, the of, creators content. of the content. And this is open uh, even to the public. Right. So, apart so from how that, do you incorporate the public and students? Because that can be a little bit uh, tricky. Through smart timetabling. And uh -huh. I mm -hmm. invite Dr. Harry to speak to that mm -hmm. because right. he's the one who interacts directly with them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But answer, yeah. answer my question first. How mm -hmm. do okay. you ingratiate students to this experience to appoint their mature yeah. and ready to innovate? Okay. okay. Yeah, so thank you, Mr. Sakwa. Uh, there, there are two categories of students that we have uh, at mm -hmm. Machakos University. Mm -hmm. Students that do non-computing courses. Right. Yeah. So these students, uh, of course, each and every student is supposed to have IT skills, uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, for them to navigate the current uh, ecosystem, of whichever areas they work. Uh. Mm -hmm. So, we incorporate ICT in their curricula. Oh, yeah. ICT is part of what, what they do. Mm -hmm. yes. And we actually have 10 laboratories, 10 mm -hmm. well-equipped laborato computer laboratories in wow. Masakos University, uh -huh. mm -hmm. which the department and the school manages. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for the other non-computing students, mm -hmm. uh, they do ICT as part of their curriculum and of course they, they are trained within the laboratories. Yes. There's a schedule that we have for that. Yeah, so somebody now, can for be the, in the faculty of education yes. but correct. still full blown. Yes, that is correct. Yes. Exactly. All right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and in fact we have some students who could be in education but mm -hmm. they are interested in tech uh, yes. you know, innovations. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So for the computing students, um, right now we have uh, three major uh, courses. One is uh, computer science which is the core computing mm -hmm. course. Right. The second one is information technology. Mm -hmm. um, then the third one, of course, IT is just about application mm -hmm. of uh, computing technologies. Then uh, we have uh, a new course, which is only offered by Machakos University. Uh -huh. Even University of Nairobi does not have it. Eh? Oh, okay. It is cloud computing, cloud computing. Bachelor of Science, yeah. cloud computing, and information technology. Uh -huh. That mainly information centers security. on that, oh, information security. Yes. Mm -hmm. So cloud it's also based on data yes. and, and, and ensuring that... Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so it's, uh, 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 of course, cloud computing is just about uh, storage and compute services being offered remotely. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, so there are two components of that course. We have the cloud aspect, right. and then we have the security aspect. So mm -hmm. the cyber security yes. uh, mm -hmm. basically is part of that. Eh? Which is a big forte in companies yeah. even today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. that, that's very big uh, mm -hmm. uh, in, in the companies that we have. So in terms of mm -hmm. training, uh, for our students. So when the computing students uh, come on board, mm -hmm. of course we have the different curricula. Okay, there's a curriculum for computer science, a curriculum for mm -hmm. IT and the rest. I, I failed to mention that uh, in Machakos University we are launching master's programs in September. Oh wow. Uh, yeah. MSc IT, MSc computer science. Eh? Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, in September. This year. Uh, yeah, this year. Mm -hmm. So we can, you can look up yeah. for, for that. But eh? yeah. Asako, you'll definitely you know, give might, details to us. We, now, we might be talking about, I just uh -huh. need to interrupt briefly. Yeah, sure. Go because ahead. as we get excited, we are talking about cloud computing. Yes. And people might be thinking of cloud since it's in the rainy season. Yes. <laughs> um, I also learned through uh, Dr. Omuya that there's even fog computing. Yeah. Yes. So if you can just mention or briefly. Or cloud yes, CD. Uh, yeah, 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 like <laughs> cloud nine. You know, what are we yes. talking about? <laughs> just uh, just uh, explain. Like yeah. we have the technologies, the way they are advanced to mm -hmm. uh, different levels. Right. Uh, so cloud computing aspects. essentially is in the old days, all the, the, the data was on a device. Yeah. Right. So you had to have a very large memory on your device to, mm -hmm. you know, to manage. Mm -hmm. Now data. everything mm -hmm. is remote. So on your device, you just need the apps that connect you to mm -hmm. yes. that virtual server. server yeah. Yeah. So that virtual server is that, that's the technology that is cloud computing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. like also like wanting to delete data from your phone, but mm. still it's still on the cloud yeah. and still retrieve it's it. Still yeah. in the cloud. Yeah, thanks yeah. to Apple. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so actually there are three three categories of services that you can uh -huh. access on the cloud. Eh? Right. Yeah, so we normally, we we, we have uh, uh, IAS infrastructure as a service. Mm. Right. Yeah, then you have uh, software, 
uh, as a service and we have platform as a, as a service. Mm -hmm. So we have people who just want uh, to access an application and use. You don't want to install it on your machine eh? mm -hmm. or your device. Mm -hmm. So you can just access it uh, yes. online. You access the software and use. Eh? Yes. Then uh, we have platforms. Mm -hmm. um, you have your device, but you are not able, it doesn't have the requisite uh, specs mm -hmm. for development. Eh? Mm -hmm. So you can uh, access uh, uh, an application, a development environment eh? yes. uh, remotely where you can uh, do development and deployment uh, mm -hmm. of systems and high performance computing can also be done uh, in that front. Eh? Yes. Then of course we have organizations who need some kind of IT or computing infrastructure to work with. Eh? Yes. Yeah. So uh, they can access uh, servers, they can rent servers, uh, yeah. actually they can rent networks, mm -hmm. uh, etc. So that is infrastructure. Those are the three right. main categories mm -hmm. uh, that we deal with. Right. Yeah, I wanted to just comment on the, the training in terms of programming because yeah, these students, Go ahead. they need yeah. to move from some point mm -hmm. all the way to when now they are able to do innovations. Right. So for our computing students, we normally uh, take them through the process of uh, programming or development. Yeah. And uh, there are different paradigms of programming. A paradigm, that is the styles that we use, object yeah. orientation, uh, mm -hmm. structured programming, etc. Yeah. So we start at some point eh, where we... Uh, use interpreters, it's what you call an interpreter in programming, yeah. uh, to run uh, applications. Yeah, then we have uh, compilers, you move to compilers, uh, that's the next stage, or you can use them simultaneously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then from there you can introduce students to uh, IDs, integrated development environments, and mostly uh, object-oriented programming, that is mostly where we use the IDs. Yeah, yeah then uh, uh, from the IDs you can now move to the frameworks. So. Um, uh, th that is now the level when we are now introducing it to development because we have uh, general programming uh, at the beginning you just do small small programs then when you reach somewhere where they are doing software engineering uh, in yes. third year as a course then now we introduce them to development frameworks okay mm -hmm. and you mentioned Laravel as yes. one of them the we have the Django the rest mm -hmm. uh, framework <coughs> mm -hmm. uh, because of the current technologies yeah. We are including the, uh, uh, the, the current uh, you know, uh, programming uh, so that our students are up to date with what is happening. Eh? Yes, the yeah. trends so in programming. Mm. Yeah, in programming. Okay. So, for example, Python is, uh, is top notch, especially for the cloud and computer students. Yeah, this, and, is, a, and in this is a language, by the yeah. way. Mm. Oh, yeah, Python yeah, yeah. Doesn't programming know, language. Yeah. Yeah. Mr. Sakwa, thank you. I, I yeah. felt sometimes, yeah. you know, the way we get excited about Pythons, eh? yeah. people may think it's an actual reptile. Yes, uh, a so snake. Yeah, 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 and people don't like snakes. Yeah, so please clarify. Uh, thank you for bringing that up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. so uh, and Laravel is not a drug. <laughs> it's <laughs> some sort of yeah. drug exactly. as well. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so Laravel, Django, uh, mm. frameworks, those are frameworks of programming. Right. Platforms where we, we do development, mm -hmm. you can come up with an application and then uh, um, you run it, you test it, and then now it can be deployed or it can be mm. used out here. Right. So we have uh, different programming languages that we train eh, mm -hmm. from those styles. Right. Yeah. So a programming language is simply uh, instructions that mm -hmm. we write mm -hmm which the computer is able to interpret to mm -hmm. perform a task. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's basically this, you're like now uh, the end user. Yes. It's like some sort of user interface yeah. now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But in, uh, in a student format, it's like you're learning to be the front end and yes. the back end. And the back end. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, so we have the front end. That is where uh, the user, uh, what the user interacts with. Yes. Then the instructions are in the back end. The back end, yes. Yeah. Actually, so I start, I'm feeling like Mr. Sakwa should be with us at Machakos University. Uh, yeah. <laughs> the man is uh, he's on, on point. Oh, yeah. 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 I appreciate that. Yeah. <laughs> Proceed. All right, so, for, so we, we do the programming to prepare them at different levels. Eh? Uh -huh. Yeah. We start with the structured programming mm -hmm. uh, using C language. C is a traditional, but it is mm -hmm. one of the best languages we use for training, uh -huh. uh, especially those who are learning programming for the first time. Yes. Then we move all the way uh, to object-oriented programming and right now to uh, program intelligent uh, uh, languages. Yes. Uh, like Python is a programming language. Eh? Yes. Sure. And in Python we have, uh, <laughs> that is a, it's a programming language that we use. Mm -hmm. uh, in Python we, we have different uh, um, uh, tools, tools that are used, eh? mm -hmm. okay, or uh, libraries which right. are used to do development. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, in data science, you want to use data science Python to visualize, for yes. example, data. Mm 
Mm. Yeah, then there's a library we call Matplotlib, right. which you can call and then you use it. Mm -hmm. So you have your data, yes. raw data, you can see the yeah. visual, like right. the graphs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then uh, just out of interest, I heard there's also anaconda. Yeah. <laughs> so is anaconda, I know <laughs> anaconda is yeah. related to Python, but yeah. In, yeah. In, in terms of computing, <laughs> what is the link? Uh, yeah, yeah. It, it's related. Yeah. It's part of the frameworks that right. we, yeah. we, we use. Yeah. So that yeah. like what we get now to the nitty gritty yeah, of the nitty gritty. Yeah. 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 But so, the so there are a number. Yeah, there are numbers there's a couple we, of them, but yeah. they can yeah. all get that when they get to that faculty and get to learn. Yes. But we had left it where uh, your, your mm -hmm. institution has finally uh, delved into the community. Mm -hmm. So it's not just benefiting the students, but yeah. now it's also community oriented. We'll shortly talk about that before I get to prof. Mm. Yeah, so how we engage the community is, uh, as I said earlier, we have different labs. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, one of the main labs where the community are allowed, they're actually two. We have the Jitume lab. Eh? Mm. Uh, as you are aware, uh, this government, the Kenya Kwanza government through the president, is uh, focusing on a number of things. Two key in tech is uh, the digitization of services, eh? mm. onboarding of all government services. Yeah. yeah. So, and the second one, which is now related to students, eh? yes. is apart from uh, learning, going to class uh, to learn, yeah. uh, the <coughs> students are supposed to create some time to get some money. So they say, uh, Fenya. Yeah, uh, Fenya buttons. And then Fenya buttons, you a dollar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh. Fenya computer, you a dollar. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and that is the idea about Jitume. Right. Jitume is actually uh, a brainchild of Konza Technopolis wow. through uh. the IC, Ministry of ICT yeah. and Digital uh, uh, Economy. Right. So, yeah. that Jitume lab uh, is supposed to help both our students so we use it to train the, the courses, some of the courses I've mentioned, mm -hmm. uh, including some professional courses. Yes. Uh, we use it also to, we, we allow the communities, some high schools around come. Yeah. Uh, it's like they do visitations for yeah. trainings, yes. workshops, mm -hmm. Yeah, trainings, workshops, mm -hmm. and there's a okay. schedule, mm -hmm. a schedule, schedule that we have for that, for, for that mm -hmm. so that right. we engage them. The other mm -hmm. lab is the STEM lab, which Prof, Prof talked about. Talked about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, uh, and uh, both of you uh, have UNESCO in your description, so how yes. is UNESCO enabling this at your facility? Uh, thanks, Akwa. Uh, UNESCO has a program known as the UNESCO Unitwin program, mm -hmm. and basically Unitwin is, a, is, is twinning of universities. That's where the Unitwin comes from. Mm -hmm. uh, so for us, we are uh, twinned with the um, Tianjin, vocational, uh, uh, Tianjin City Vocational College, which is in uh, China. Mm -hmm. And we are running applications around cloud computing. So now the program, because it's a transdisciplinary, which it goes beyond the traditional disciplines of ICT. But we have five uh, sub-themes in which we are looking at how cloud computing could help advance sustainable development. So one is agriculture and food security. Right. Uh, so, like Which using backbone of exactly we say even even we for most of Africa <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the agricultural sector. And recently, there was a summit on on, on that, and even soil testing. Exactly. Yeah. In Did fact, you take part? No, no. But we sent people to do some of the aspects of that that program. All right, amazing. So mm -hmm. we use uh, the, the the big data uh, to find the best seeds for specific areas. Like now we're in an arid and semi-arid area. Yeah. So smart agriculture helps you do that. Right. Then we have something on, uh, education and training, mm -hmm. which is open and distance, uh, learning, which is Odell or e-learning. Yeah. Uh, how we can put a lot of our, uh, programs on virtual, uh, spaces where students can access at their own pace. Right. We have something on health and well-being. Uh, so we link the, the, these medical institutions as well as medical practitioners uh, by using uh, health informatics to help deliver more customized solutions for health. Yes. Uh, even in, there's even something called telemedicine. Yeah. Like someone here can operate on someone in Marsabit mm. yes. using or, the right technology. China, Kenya, e exactly. US, Kenya, so that Kenya, is Kenya, US. Yeah. Exactly. So that's mm. possible. Then we have climate change and climate resilience. Mm -hmm. You've seen Which what has happened during this flooding. Mm -hmm. That's a big, big issue. Then right. the last one is uh, space science and surveillance. Right. So we are using satellites. Mm -hmm. And uh, we even launched, Machakos University actually has launched Cube satellites into space. For real? Yes. That's big. So, yeah. yeah, we are using... That's big. You should be speaking to Elon Musk at this point. We should. <laughs> we should. With SpaceX and uh, Starlink. Yes. So we are looking at how uh, the space science and surveillance, mm -hmm. one, we've already contributed to the cooling system of satellites in space. 
Our colleague, mm -hmm. the one who is part of our cloud mm -hmm. computing engineer, mm -hmm. Dr. Maniki, Maniki yes. has developed a cooling system for satellites called Baridi Sana, uh -huh. which is wow. being deployed there. Yeah? Uh -huh. And we are also participating in a project uh, developing a Mars analog station right. in Marsabit, in the Chalbi Desert, mm -hmm. so that eventually that same simulation will yes. be built on Mars itself, the planet. Mm -hmm. So we are part of that process as well. Oh, so with space big. science uh -huh. and uh, surveillance, we are using satellite uh, to monitor satellite animal technology. patterns yeah. and migrations, mm -hmm. both for wildlife and for right. for our our livestock. Yes. So that we know which paths they use. So if like now we hear, we are grateful to the president that there's going to be a, a Mombasa Nairobi mm. expressway. expressway. We're very excited. But thank God. But, but now we may interfere with <laughs> animal migratory patterns. <laughs> right. Like where do those animals cross into, you know? So yeah. by using satellite uh, technology, we're able to advise yeah. the contractors to mm. do either a tunnel or yes. whatever it is so that animals can continue on their so corridor during their migrations. Uh -huh. So those are very exciting applications. And uh, yes. uh, the three of us actually are the... The, 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 the team that is leading those th that UNESCO chair. Uh, impressive. Before I jump back to Daktari, are there maybe competitions that uh, students have successfully managed to participate that have put them on the map globally, apart mm. from the partnerships? Mm. Yeah, okay, Prof. Yeah, well, well <laughs> I know it. No, <laughs> All right, okay. Okay. Go it's ahead. your day. It's your day. <laughs> go ahead, Dr. I'm, here, I'm here to support you. <laughs> All right, go ahead, yeah, Okay, so we have a number of compet actually competitions and uh, hackathons eh? yes. that we have participated in at uh -huh. Smashakos University. So one of them which has put us at the global level is Huawei uh, ICT competition. Eh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, we did students travel? Yes, yes, they did. We, we, we normally compete from the local level. So uh -huh. universities uh, come together. Then we have the global, I mean the regional level. Of Africa. Inter okay. Africa. Africa. Of Africa. Oh, so Africa now. <laughs> uh, African countries. And then later we have the global. The global so our now. students have participated at all those at levels. All eh? levels. Mm. And as we speak, we have four students from Machakos University who are in China. Oh, wow. Yeah, for the Huawei right ICT speak, competitions. And they are still in China. Yeah, so yeah, give them a shout out. Eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mr. Frank is the team leader. Mr. Frank is the team leader for that uh, uh, yeah. competition. So, uh, yeah. Frank, thank you for, for and that. All the best. And wish you well. Bring back so the trophies. <laughs> so yeah, bring back Africa. the trophies. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so last year actually we were number two. What, what was the invention that took them there in the competition? Yeah, okay. So, in the competition, they come up with ideas in uh, different areas. So, uh -huh. for our students, we participated in AI, right. in data communications, and in cloud computing. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, so you just come up with an idea and then you showcase. Mm -hmm. in those areas. Eh? Mm -hmm. right. So uh, right now, uh, the areas that they are participating in the global is on cloud computing and uh, networking. Mm. Uh -huh. Yeah. So just a concept around networking and cloud computing you showcase and then of course they are analyzed yes. and uh, um, e e examined around that. Eh? Yes. Yeah. And awarded. Right. Um, so uh, apart from that, we, I, I mentioned earlier that we have uh, national competitions uh, that are also organized by various universities mm -hmm. and other organizations around, eh? yes. like Inter-University Hackathon, uh, yeah. where we participated as Machakos University, and our project was the best overall in AI. Yes. Uh, uh, last year, uh, 2020, no, this year. You didn't mention uh, he's KU, the patron. Oh, you're the yeah, patron yeah, I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the patron of so the Google hats. Developers Club yeah. eh? mm -hmm. uh, in Machakos University. Right. Uh, which basically churn out uh, these projects. Right. So we, we, we also participated in a competition which was organized by KU. So right. they were calling it the Economic Symposium, National right. Economic Symposium. Uh -huh. Okay. And in that competition, uh, of course, we had applications that are being showcased, business ideas, right. uh, then ideas also in tech, and uh, a hybrid of the same. Eh? Right. Uh, in that competition, uh, we had uh, a, a project on blockchain, eh? Right. Uh, technologies. Which is big now. Yeah. Like which is, forex which is trading big. And yeah. Bitcoin. Mm. Yeah. Bitcoin, yeah. Forex, and, and etc. Yeah. Yeah. But, but and, we and want to remember the girl child and give her a shout out. Eh? Yeah. Um, wh what was it that uh, Jacqueline Madara won among the women? Oh, yeah. In, uh, oh, yeah. Maybe you can mention that also. Yeah. yeah. In cyber security. Uh -huh. okay. Yeah. So we, we have uh, our colleague Jacqueline Madara, right. uh, who is in ICT. Uh -huh. uh, she's doing a lot That's in a cyber security. Or? No, she's one, staff, one of our staff one of and yes. trainer, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah she's okay. one of our, so one of the trainers in right. ICT and CIT. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Jacqueline Madara won, uh, she was recognized at Strathmore University right. uh, as one of the global upcoming young women mm -hmm. in cybersecurity. 
cyber uh, security, in cyber security specifically. specifically. Mm. Right. Yeah. So, oh, so that is basically okay. how we, we uh, the activities that we do uh, yes. with staff and students, they put us at the global level through those competitions and uh, the initiatives that we have. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Uh, Prof, what exactly put you on the map now that you guys, you're like now an SI unit of hub in Machakos, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, what do you think are some of the things that put you on the map uh, away from tech, but still on tech anyways? Mm. Oh my goodness, uh, everything that I know has put us on the map is tech related, yes. uh, but we are also renowned for hospitality and tourism management. Mm -hmm. In fact, uh, when we were TTI uh, back in the mm -hmm. day, uh, we were a center of excellence in uh, uh, hospitality and tourism management, yeah. also in fashion design mm -hmm. and management, as well as in uh, computing and engineering. Mm -hmm. So those those three areas specifically have always, uh, when, you, when you hear about Machakos, whether it was the days of the TTI or the technical uh, secondary school, or now as a university, we've never lost that DNA. Yes. So it's, it's in fact, it's still your eventually we are going b to be renamed Machakos uh, Technical University, university. MATU. Because mm -hmm. uh, that DNA of the technical expertise and, and the spirit of excellence is something is we need to celebrate. Mm -hmm. uh, also, we have something that is planned through our strategic plan mm -hmm. called the Sustainable Futures Institute. Right. So we are not just looking back at our past uh, because what I've shared is where we came from, yes. our DNA. Mm -hmm. But through the Sustainable, Sustainable Futures Institute, right. we are now projecting forward of how we can continue being leaders yes. in a variety of spaces, including this this one on technology. Right. Mm. Uh, maybe you can talk about data science shortly mm. before we exit. It's a very important conversation, especially in this day and age mm. where, you know, people are logging into servers. Yeah. For instance, somebody just goes into a cyber to print an assignment. You don't know exactly the details that mm. will be taken after you're gone. So how do you guys ensure that it becomes a very common conversation for students okay. in your facility? Yeah, th thank you, Sakwa. So data science is, uh, is an area uh, that is also... Uh, very rich right now students are exploring mm -hmm. and it's also being applied a lot uh, out there yes so in in data science we have uh, mostly an analytics analysis of, of data uh, big data basically uh, has information that we get from different devices eh? yes. yeah like almost all of us have smart mobile phones yes uh, we have smart tvs we have uh, laptops desktops servers etc Yes. So and all this information revolve uh, around the World Wide Web yes. or the digital space. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So accumulation of that information uh, yes. that is what we call big data. Yes. Yeah. Because it is huge, it uh, moves around the digital systems, and yes. organizations uh, need uh, to use that information to basically make decisions. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So they extract patterns from it, mm -hmm. and data science uh, basically helps in uh, uh, using tools mm -hmm. uh, or algorithms that are able to extract that data. Yes. then make sense out of it yes. uh, in terms of uh, uh, what an organization can do, maybe in terms of marketing, yes. uh, training, and, and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it is a very rich area that students out there can uh, actually get interested in mm -hmm. and uh, you know, find a way of, of exploring. Yeah. And it is related, uh, we, ha we have the data science, it's related to uh, AI, uh, machine learning, etc. So there's a way yeah. they're interconnected. Uh, let me throw in this. Uh, there's a time uh, towards end of last year, mid last year, uh, okay. WorldCoin came in and mm -hmm. they were using our sensory data for mm -hmm. those that managed to go and, you know, mm -hmm. everybody wanted to make money out of yeah. high data. Mm -hmm. And uh, this again throws in matter safety. Yeah, safety. So in terms of that, uh, how, how have you guys equipped your students in terms of them uh, getting to know how to, this is how you preserve data, this is mm -hmm. how you hold data, categories of data, and the rest of the conversation. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that is very important. Uh, the issue of security, security of information systems, security of data, uh, security of uh, whichever platforms that, that we use. Eh? Yeah, it's a, a, a very important thing that uh, uh, we take into consideration. So part of the training for the computing students and other students generally is how do you ensure that you as an individual, the data you use, the systems you use are secure? Mm -hmm. And of course, we have the whole aspect of cyber security. There's yes. a lot of cyber bullying happening out here. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, there's a training around how do we protect, uh, you know, uh, how do we introduce the firewalls to do the protection? Right. We have Data Protection Act uh, mm, right yes. now uh -huh. uh, that, uh, of course, there's a whole department. Yeah, and it's a big director. conversation. Mm. Yeah. Now there's even international <coughs> police involved yes, as well. Yes, exactly. Yeah. And actually different stakeholders need to come together to harmonize yes. so that we find a way of protecting 
uh, yes, uh, uh, that information. Uh, that, so uh, there are technologies uh, that are used uh, mm -hmm. to do the protection. Uh, yes. We have the traditional technologies like the firewall, etc. Yeah. And then we have now uh, uh, monitoring uh, uh, right now uh, in the cyber security space. Yes. Yeah. So we, we have experts uh, yeah. uh, uh, in computing. Of course, there are different areas. Eh? Yes. There are people in security, uh, like myself, I'm in AI, and then we have different uh, uh, categories, networks, etc. Yes. So it is uh, uh, a wholesome training. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah, we do training, not only in programming, but also uh, how we do the security. I think uh, Mr. Sako has touched on uh, yes. the, the challenge for the 21st century, especially the rise of AI, yes. is going to be in terms of ethics. Mm -hmm. Right. Because uh, regulation. Exactly. Regulation? Because like the uh -huh. one you're referring to of WorldCoin, yes. uh, it, it raised all kinds of questions about ethics. Yeah. Right. Like when you and use privacy. my bio data, exactly. yeah. uh -huh. did you inform the person about what you're going to do with, with the, the data, data you're collecting? Mm -hmm. Because all those biometrics are going to be fed somewhere. Yes. yes. So and who are the people handling that? Exactly. Yeah. When you yes. give me that cash, what are you going to do with my data? Mm -hmm. right. yes. So the ethical uh, issues are the ones which are going to be the biggest challenges now as we move forward into the 21st century. Right. Yeah. And right now there's mm -hmm. a focus, just to add something, yes. there's a focus on uh, what we call ethical or responsible computing. Yeah. Right. Yeah, right mm -hmm. now. Both for developers and yes. the consumers of technology. Even yes. here you yeah. have ethical hackers. Right. Yeah. <laughs> White hackers, black hackers. <laughs> I hear the, those that are yeah, trained right, literally right, yeah. to hack. Yes, yes, yes. And now it goes even to stories about the dark web. There's uh -huh. people committing cyber crimes yeah. and, yes. in, 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 and invading organizations exactly. and attacking them in the yeah. cloud. So yeah. Yeah. it's a big conversation. Yeah. We're out of time. We have to go. But I want you guys to uh, pitch to our viewer and our, yeah. li and, and our listener as well and just inform them why they should vote out for the events that you have that are upcoming at Machakos University. And if there's a parent who wants their student to enroll, what are the good things that they should expect in one minute, one minute at your posting shoot yeah. before we exit? I'll start with yeah. you, Prof. Uh, thanks, Mr. Sakwa. And this is your camera. Oh, yeah. thanks, Mr. Sakwa and um, all the viewers. Uh, you need to join Machakos University if you want to play in the future. The 21st century is Africa's century. Uh, the median age is 19, which is where, where the youth are. And if you want to be skilled so that you can not only provide employment for yourself, but possibly grow into an entrepreneur and sell your services even globally, not just even in Kenya, uh, then Machakos University is the place you need to come to so that we can equip you with the requisite skills uh, yeah. for that kind of uh, ownership and, and winnership. Yes, thank you. absolutely. Yeah, that thank time. you. Uh, at Machakos University, we are co-creating sustainable feature, futures, and uh, the School of Engineering and Technology, uh, where we have our dean, uh, engineer Dr. Mwaniki, myself and other CODs, we are ensuring that uh, our students are trained, given the best kind of training that we can get. Machakos University may look like a small university, but we are, uh, we are now in the league of the bigger universities because of the kind of facilities that we have. Mm. And uh, the kind of training, uh, we are training on the current technologies. And uh, from what we have churned out in the competitions and the hackathons, uh, we are up to the task. So any student uh, looking for a place to do computer science, uh, information technology, cloud computing, and information security, yes. uh, you are much welcome. You will not be disappointed. Professional yeah. courses are there. Uh -huh. And... Uh, Karibu, yes. welcome to And you have an event us. coming. Yes, yeah, uh, we have. Uh, yeah, in fact, yeah. Our, our sixth international conference begins tomorrow. Tomorrow, yes. Until Friday. Mm -hmm. So, so, yes. so all roads are heading to Machakos. their facility. It's a place to be. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Machakos is the place to the be, place right? To be. Yeah. Ensure that you follow that. Thank you so much. Uh, and Eric, thank you for having for us. Having, for okay. This, yeah. Almost, yeah. I'm thanking you guys for coming through, but you're thanking me. <laughs> no, so, but we gratitude. Give you a special invitation. Yeah, yeah. oh, my Whenever special invitation, are, yeah, right? Please come and visit us. All right, absolutely. We might have to tell your team. We are planning with the team. Omeskia, mm. Pale Gallery, Omeskia Kabsa, and they are taking notes. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, uh, Eric Omuya Odiambo. He is doctor, chair of department CAT at uh, Machakos University as well, alongside Professor Mgendi, DVC, Administration Planning, Finance, Tech, Innovation at Machakos University. This conversation is endless. We are just beginning, but we have mm. to end. But thank you so much for being with us from 7 a.m. to 10 a.m. We'll definitely see you tomorrow, bright and early, right here on the hashtag. Why in the morning? I'm Brian Sako. See you tomorrow.